All right, guys. So uh, a set of Corsa. You just bought the game. You have shit cars, shit tracks. You want to be shredding some fucking 1J S14s. You want to shred a BMW, whatever you want to shred. We're gonna show you how to download tracks and cars. Uh, it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, you're gonna find a whole bunch of cars, a whole bunch of tracks, have them downloaded and installed within five minutes. Be back on the game and just ripping it. So if you want to go to Google and just type in a set of Corsa mods. Then you'll get a shit ton of websites that come up with cars and tracks. Literally type in a set of Corsa mods on Google. As you can see, the top three right here, the ones that are highlighted purple, are the ones that we use mainly. So a set of Look Corsa at the Club, site names. Uh, ACmods.net, uh, an Assetto dot database or a set of Corsa database. All three links will be in the description. Uh, a set of Corsa database is definitely one of the best ones because you can just click cars and it comes up with like the, every single brand and how many cars is in that brand. So, uh, let's go to BMW. This is, what site is this again? This is a set of course of database. This is the, one of the better websites. Oh, seto, aseto-db.com. That's what the link is. What should we do? Uh, which one? 325. Do it, yeah. Hopefully it works. You're gonna click on uh... right down here. Sorry, I, I forgot to show you that. But when you get to your car, right here for this website specific, uh, right under Original Source, you press Download Car. It'll redirect you to a ADF or Mediafire. Go ahead and press Skip Ad, and you can get rid of whatever pop-ups come up, and it just shows you what it is. And uh, this is wait, this is different. What the fuck is the download? Download this mod. Look under that yeah, Xbox right One. Yeah, right. Good thing I'm here. And then it'll just go down, if you're using Chrome, it'll go down to the bottom left. Just wait for that to uh, download. And you do need WinRAR or uh, WinZip, whichever one. 7-Zip. 7-Zip. It'll be down in the description. Well, everything that you'll need for the mod installs and the cars installs will be down in the description. This car looks sexy. Yeah, it does. Over fenders. It's a four door too. Four door E36 with eBay over fenders. That's right, what it looks so, like. Uh, once it's downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and continue to the Windows button, computer, local disk, uh, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Set of Corsa, and then you're gonna go to content, and this is where you find all the content as in the game, cars. And uh, tracks are right here. Also, if you didn't, uh, if you couldn't keep track of what he just said on how to get here, pause it and check out the top bar right there where it says computer, local disk, program files. Literally, pause it right there. And then just follow. Yeah, the, follow the chain. Yep. Get to this point. So, and then. Uh, yeah, once you're here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up WinWar. Uh, whatever pop-up's gonna come up is gonna come up. And then all you have to do. Oops, all you have to do is just drag the file straight into the car file. Whoops, I'm not even trying to do that. So he just opened up cars in the content folder. Those are all his cars right there. And then, easy enough, highlight it and just drag it right in. And then uh, some downloads, uh, when you open up the WinRAR, it'll come, it won't say the car itself. It'll have like content or a car folder and your car folder. You have to go into that to find the specific car folder and then drag that one in. Because if you drag, uh, three files and it'll mess it all up and it'll corrupt it so uh, that's basically it it's installed as you see it's right here e36 325 sedan go ahead and close out of that close out of the internet and then just go ahead and open up a set of corsa easy enough one of the easier games to install models on it helps a lot that this game definitely has a lot of like mod support yep there's definitely Definitely a lot of mod support. People are always up to date making mods. Making new cars, making new tracks. Yep. This is probably the most popular, like, G27 yeah. or any simulator Dirty game. Yeah. And honestly, if anyone knows anything about coding or anything out there, we're really looking for the Lime Rock Butterfly track on a set of courses. So if there's any way you can DM me or uh, Orion on Instagram, we'll be on the description. That'd be fucking mint. Metal oh, yeah. The butterfly track. Dude. Oh, yeah. Check out the uh, butterfly track video on the main channel if uh, anyone wants to attempt at trying to code that. There's a pretty good follow cam.
get the turns, the elevation in there. So uh, we downloaded it. Um, right here, it's going to be in BMW. Uh, there it is. Here it is, E36 325S1. Uh, it does not come with a uh, upgrade option, so it's probably fully upgraded or whatever right now. Can you yeah, change the color? Yeah, yeah, definitely change the color. 158 100, horsepower. You cannot uh, change horsepower. No change in color? 198. Oh, 198. Oh, let's see. It's just, it's just stock, completely stock. M3 front bumper. All right, let's give it a quick test run real quick. Go to any random trailer. And sometimes, like I said, some files can't be corrupt, so if you get one random car that doesn't work, then uh, you know the file's corrupt, or it's in beta. Yeah, I've seen a lot of ones in beta that don't really work too well, but for the most part, most of them work. All, yeah. I love how you can see the fan too. Can you go in the interior? Right E36 dash. Right, let's give it a rip. How's it feel so far? A little sticky. Really weird. I can just, I saw the way you hugged it and I saw the way the car reacted and I know that's weird. There you guys have it. That's how you install car mods on a set of Corsa. Stay tuned and we will show you how to install the tracks as well.